Okay, welcome back to another edition of Cannabis in Canada. As you can see, we're in a typical grow room. Um, one of the things that's disturbing me is that I know this particular place, Smokey and the Bandits, and um, what's going on here is that they're going to harvest these plants in three days. Now, I'm a friend, and I, I'm no, no slight against uh, my friend's husband and my friend. I know what they're doing, and, and I know they've been doing this for years, and it's what works for them. That's great. Um, what I'd like to talk about today is premature plants versus mature. And uh, what we're looking at here in the room, um, just these buds here, like if I hold this one here up and we look at the very top, I'm going to ask you, the viewer, I know the answer. The epistoli are beginning to stand up. They're, they're not down. You know, there's nothing uh, breaking down. In fact, the, the red hairs or brown, orange, brown, whatever you want to call them, that you would normally see in the maturing uh, bud are just starting. And the calyxes are popping out the side still. I mean, <laughs> this bud is still developing. Now it's eight weeks in. The immediate thought for this particular grower is they've always grown it at eight weeks. That's what works for them. They get buds, they get high, they get medicated, they're happy. What I'm talking about is how to optimize your strain, to know what you're doing. And most importantly, for you advanced growers out there, please weigh in because this is about education on Cannabis in Canada and keeping the facts straight and nothing's personal only about trying to help one another grow better. And if we're harvesting immature buds, you gotta remember this is wet weight. When this dries, this is a terminal bud. When this dries, it's gonna be 50%. So you're talking about a bud like this, okay? No terminal bud should be that big. That's just me, I'm being straight up. I mean, you call me doctor, call me whatever the hell you want, but it's reality. If you scope these trichomes right now, they will be clear or slightly beginning to be get milky but far from the milky and amber that we want in a pre or a fully mature plant. And same with here, you would have the fully developed, um, uh, quite literally, you can see it here in this plant especially. I'm gonna pass this off. Um, this plant here, you can see how the bud formation. Now I know you guys out there are gonna look at me saying, we know Jason Christ, we can see. I know, but look at the plant formation. These would grow into one another, forming a terminal bud. Now mind you, these are nice, tight and compact. And quite frankly, I'd say they're only maybe um, another two weeks or three weeks off. Um, not a huge difference, but you're talking about the difference of maybe 40% in your yield. Part B, look around me, okay? There's no yellow leaves. There's no autumning off, which you see. There's no purpling off, okay? Which you see, which is an indicator of a plant reaching its maturity. Just like the leaves in the fall time, we call it autumning off for a reason. Okay, in the fall time, the leaves fall, it's autumn time, the plants autumn off when they're done. Okay, welcome back. Here we are in the second chamber. Now, we brought this to you before, standard three lights. You know, they use a tiered system, so you got them up on two different levels. Uh, so of course you got to hire plants that stand up here. But what's interesting is in this room, the other room like we did, we brought to you before, we asked them to cool it down and they did just that. This room hasn't been cooled down yet, but ironically the buds are bigger and swelling out more. I think that's just from the extra humidity. But um, at the same time, again, still just a little bit premature. You got the white pistol standing straight up. And then you got this guy right here. And when I talk about those pistols coming down, or pistoli coming down right from here you can see these are just starting to curl down so they're still like a good week away but they, it, it is just starting to curl down and that's what you're looking for is the kind of crown top certainly no hair is sticking up they should all be curled down there should be a lot of uh, at least 40 to 60 percent red orange or uh, brown hairs uh, again to indicate indicate floral maturity most importantly is that this this color of green unless it's a phenotype is an indicator of high nitrogen content and simply is not good uh, for flushing. Um, but at the same time, it works for these particular growers. So I'd like people to weigh in online based on the B-roll we get of both chambers. Please weigh in and let us know what you think so that we can help dial this particular room in and dial the nutrients in and dial in the flushing process. And most importantly, how to scope your dope. The best thing to do is to scope your dope. Get a 30 times microscope, look at your trichomes and know what's going on. If you're going to visualize it like this, hold the butt up and make sure that these little pistoli that are sitting up have all curled down, forming into the bud. I know I'm repeating myself, but it breaks my heart to know that these are going to be cut down in three days 
when they're far from done. Weigh in, make your comments. I look forward to hearing back from you. And let us help um, this particular couple enhance this strain and enhance this, uh, this location to produce even better medicine. They're happy with what they're producing. And as I say to everybody out there, before anybody jumps on to try and hate, you know, if they're happy with what they're doing, that's all that matters. And if you're happy with what you're doing, then take what you need from this video and leave the rest. This is Jason Wilcox, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.